Hello, social media friends. I'm Viridiana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News, and Danny Barrera has the story. The Odessa City Council held the second and final public hearing on redistricting at Monday's work session. The City Council's demographer presented a demographics report on the summary of the 2020 census and also presented redistricting maps for Plan A and Plan D adopted by the Odessa City Council. Before the demographer came out, Council met as a whole and we had the census and what we needed to be looking at. And we were overpopulated, but I think the percentage was 40.72. So the deviation has to be below 10%. So council was tasked with looking at the numbers. Redistricting is the revision or replacement of existing electoral districts, resulting in new districts with different geographical boundaries. The basic purpose of redistricting is to equalize population among districts. Yeah, we have to find balance between all districts. We have to worry about the Hispanic population, the black population, the Anglo population. You know, we can't just look at one population. We had to look at all of them. Both plans are definitely more balanced. And if you actually, you know, would do a request to look at the balanced population, we actually increased their population a little bit with the African-American and the Hispanic population. During the public hearing on redistricting, Jean Collins and Joanne Davenport Littleton and other members of the African-American community voiced their opposition to the redistricting maps of Plan A and D. My concern is voter suppression. For years, I think it was 1990 when we, uh, we reviewed the boundary lines to make sure we had two safe minority districts, District 1 and District 5. Here we are 30 years later, and basically what the plan does is it, it eliminates those two safe minority districts. Joanne Littleton and other African-American residents believe that the demographer skewed the district numbers in favor of the city council, leaving out input from minority residents of Odessa. Prior years, the consultant has always went out into the community to get community uh, input. That didn't happen. And I just asked him, and he said, no one in the council, they didn't ask me to. So they dropped the ball on that. I hope before they vote, they take a long look at what they're doing, and um, who knows? I'm pretty sure there's going to be some legal action taken. The Odessa City Council will soon vote on which plan to adopt, either at the next work session or upcoming City Council meeting. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Thank you for following us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also at DRB Media Communications Digital News. Dot TV. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.